A morning fire destroys several businesses in historic downtown Oxford and fire crews spent about two hours trying to contain those flames. Thanks for being with us. I'm Russ Bowen. I'm Angela Taylor. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live on Williamsboro Street. And Haley, can you tell us what happened? That's something that investigators are still trying to figure out. You know, fire crews have been out here since just before 8.30 this morning. And as you can see, they are just leaving now. But if you look over at the damage to the building now, you can see that there's a lot of work to be done to figure out what happened and what happens next. Debris pokes out of the glassless windows. The roof charred and caved in. I just see that my baby's gone. That's all I see. This brick building in the middle of downtown Oxford was built in 1901. It was home to fairer jewelers. We're revitalizing all the historic buildings downtown. So this is devastating for Oxford, it really is. Into Amanda Wright's dream wellness center, the Healing Haven. It was like literally the best decision I made. Wright says she got a call Monday morning explaining her building burst into flames. She got back to town watching Oxford and Antioch fire crews fighting the fire for more than two hours. The smoke was just, it was almost blinding and you couldn't see past the smoke. I don't even know what I'm going to do from this day forward, to be honest. Like, this is my bread and butter. As investigators dig through the rubble, figuring out how this happened, the community is coming together. We're doing everything we can to really rally behind them, um, looking for temporary locations to so they're able to continue through for the holidays. The word is literally overwhelming. It's just overwhelming. I love Oxford. Now, as you can see, officials are finally opening up Williamsboro Street for the first time since just before 8.30 this morning. Fire officials also say that the damage is largely contained to this building right here, and thankfully, the fire did not spread to the other buildings right here on this block. Live in Oxford, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. Yeah, definitely a good thing it didn't get any worse yeah. than it was for a lot of businesses. Haley, thanks.